Hello everybody, it's me, Laura Burns, and welcome back to my channel. And Hello, editing Laura here. Um, I forgot to say that if this is your first time <laughs> here to my channel, I have jazz hands for you, and I would be remiss in my duties as the welcome wagon to my channel if I did not give you the jazz hands, especially since the folks at Close Mentor <laughs> We're super into the jazz hands, so jazz hands, extra jazz hands today in our video because it was very exciting and fun. Okay, there we go. Very excited to be here. As you can see, I'm not in my usual location. Um, I am super pumped to be here. I'm at Clothes Mentor, which is a clothing store here in Sugarland, which is in the Houston area, if you have no idea where Sugarland is. And um, I'm really excited to be here with the owner of the store. This is Esther. Nice to meet you all. I'm just going to let her tell you about the store a little bit. So the following, we are Clothes Mentor. We buy and sell clothing. Uh, we go up from extra small to uh, 3X sizes. So we really want to enforce our plus sizes. Um, and that's why Laura is here today. <laughs> We're going to do some personal shopping with her. And she's going to look fabulous when she leaves. <laughs> okay. Thank so, you so much. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so what I'm going to do now is I just went around the store and pulled some pieces for myself. And then they have done some personal shopping for me. They pulled pieces. So I'm going to go try everything on. I'm going to take you with me. And you're going to see what happens. Here we go. So I'm just showing you the name of the store on the wall. I'm very excited about this video. I'm really excited to show you around the store. So that's what I'm going to do first before I show you inside of the actual dressing room. I just want to give you a little bit of a tour. So this is coming from the front door and I'm just going to walk around through this front area. Now this front area is um, with these two round racks and then the stuff on the wall is all sales stuff. So here is the 3X section, which is what I went through and pulled stuff for myself to try on. Um, and there's shoes everywhere. <laughs> they have lots and lots of shoes. Everything in the store is really nice quality, so they don't take pieces if they're um, not in really good condition. So that's very nice um, because then you know that um, you're not going to put something on and then like find a rip in it or a weird stain or something. So I'm just showing you all the different areas of the store. And the store does have, um, you know, from sizes extra small and up to 3 and 4X. So it's very clearly divided. You see all those little markers that say the size ranges. Um, and I found that to be very accurate as I was shopping around in the store. Um, and I like that they have, you know, like sleeveless things and they have short sleeve, they have long sleeve, they have long dresses in one area, short dresses in another area, jeans, skirts, like active wear. It's very nicely organized, <laughs> which I really appreciate. The store is super clean. Everybody's nice. Um, Y'all, it was such a good shopping experience. I'm very excited, <laughs> clearly. And then you see the shoes up top and the shoes are also clearly everywhere um, marked by size. Um, then they have some nice mirrors everywhere. This is all active wear, uh, tank top, short sleeve, long sleeve, little jackets. They have um, leggings, they have shorts, and they have sports bras. Man, they have everything here. <laughs> so here's a nice kind of shot from above. Here's some of the accessories. This is not all the accessories. I didn't film this one area because I hadn't seen it yet. Um, but these are two end caps that are full of necklaces of varying types, um, from dainty little things to huge chunky, like turquoise jewelry to blingy things. Like it's all there. Um, I didn't go super deep into the necklaces, but they did have quite a variety. Um, and then over here, there's bracelets and sunglasses. And then I'm about to show you in this case right here, um, they have some of their kind of fancier, higher dollar items. So I was just trying to give you a good shot. So there we've got some Louis Vuitton stuff. Um, and there's more. I, they, I think they do a lot of handbags, uh, designer wallets. Um, and this is not all of it. This is just like one of their cute displays. Um, so that's a Tory Burch. Um, and I don't know, like, you know, lots of des designers. I'm just naming the ones that I like immediately <laughs> can notice and know what they are. Um, so these are like the more designer shoes. 
and here I am in the dressing room and I am wearing today this lemon dress the famous lemon dress if you've been with me a long time you know this dress this is from a Dia box and I really love it it's a great summer dress because it's super lightweight um, very easy to wear okay so here is all the stuff I love that they pulled a lot of colorful pieces for me um, and so there are no bottoms in this this is mostly tops and there is I think only one dress in the whole thing so that is kind of a shortcoming here they don't have a lot of the larger sizes like a 4x in bottoms I looked at the skirts um, and the largest they had was a 24 and that wasn't gonna happen so all right so here is this first piece it's from Lane Bryant it's part of that collaboration they did now this I loved because y'all know yellow is my color and actually the fit was not too too bad um, the material was nice and lightweight I love the style of flowers and even I'm trying to point out to you here there's a little bit of silver metallic in there but um, it's you know long sleeves oh I'm showing you that I would wear this with like a high-waisted thing anyway I really liked that it really set the tone well and this is a piece that they picked for me I'm gonna try and remember um, each one to tell you so this one also was picked for me um, actually by Esther personally and it's a Torrid 3X like 12 bucks it's a great price um, I loved the color on this the fit was off um, but that's to be expected because it's a size 3 so um, normally I would have pulled a 4 but also like in this kind of non-stretch top like it's not often going to work for me however I have been um, just letting myself uh, remember or reminding myself is a better way to say it I love the cute back detail with that o-ring um, but just reminding myself that if I'm gonna wear it with a skirt and it gets tucked in it doesn't have to go over my hips um, and so I've been uh, because I've been reminding myself of that it's been helping me as I shop because I'm like oh well I could still wear this it'd be okay so this is from Maurice's and <laughs> I have one video that I did inside the dressing room look how cute um, at a Maurice's and then that place closed so I can't make videos there anymore I really liked this because I love sheer clothing and I would wear this just like this like with a bra underneath and then like tuck that into a skirt um, or wear that uh, under one of my little dresses and I think it would be so cute I love a visible bra oh my gosh um, and these bike shorts that I'm wearing are the super fit hero six inch bike shorts in case you're wondering okay this brand I see at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack all the time, so this is a nicer brand. Um, it's really cute. I was very excited to put it on, but y'all, the fit. The fit. <laughs> it's not good. It's really big on top, small on bottom. Thumbs down. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Okay, Ellen Tracy. This is a size 2X, which is definitely not my size, um, but I, I'm... When I was putting this on, I was like thinking of it as something to tuck into my little skirts for the summer because this material is super stretchy and like, look, it looks totally fine. It's not crazy tight. Um, now, if you are a person who wants a lot of length from your shirt, this is not gonna do it for you. But imagine a high-waisted skirt on top of this shirt. It would look so cute. I loved the ruffles on each sleeve. They're so adorable. Okay. Avenue this one is a size 22 24 also not my size but look how it fits it looks so it look how excited I am <laughs> it looks really good I liked this a lot um, I am really warming up to the idea of more shoulder um, and it's not that I don't want to show my shoulders it's just that I find a lot of times that those shirts don't stay down but this one looked good like how I have it here where it's kind of just barely up on my shoulder and I would be comfortable with that I, I don't think I would feel like I would have to like pull on it all the time which is really just what I'm trying to avoid I like clothing that I just put on and I don't have to worry about there's nothing to you know maintain as you go about things okay next this is a tank top from the brand philosophy which I don't know that brand um, but I love i was showing you the tag sucked my arm i love this tank top it's just like a simple stretchy very soft tank top with a little pocket um but it's star print and i love stars um and i just like this i think it's a really versatile tank top i can wear it out or i can just lounge in it and it felt very comfortable like really soft on the skin which i appreciated 
Um, so yeah, and I, I just like tank tops. I have a lot of them. <laughs> Here's another Maurice's item. So this is white. It has really pretty lace up top. Um, a great price, $8. <laughs> That's so good. Anyway, so it's a size three. Um, and it fit really well, actually. I had no problem with the fit on this. Um, and it's cut pretty generously through the waist or like hip area. So it fit well. And also it's stretchy, but even without being stretchy, it was good. The armholes are not too big. Um, I just thought it was very cute and I could see me wearing it um, in a bunch of different ways, which is kind of fun because um, sometimes I have tops and I'm like, well, it wouldn't look good with this. It would only look good with this. And I don't really want to have pieces in my closet that only look good um, <laughs> with, you know, a certain thing. I was just laughing at my like cheesy smile. <laughs> look at these super fun sleeves omg so i really liked the cut of this um flowy cardigan bell sleeve thing um but while i like the material and i think it's pretty i just don't think it really goes with most of my clothes so if this had been in like a solid color like that solid mint or i mean really any color i think i could have been much more on board with getting it and the same goes for this one. So this is another cover up. Um, I think this one was from Lane Bryant and um, I love the fit. I love how it looked. I just, I'm not gonna wear, like I don't have like 4th of July outfits. Um, and to me, this is just so 4th of July. Um, I think it's cute. If you are a person who does do 4th of July outfits, oh my gosh, this would be so good for you. I just, I don't. And that's all I could think of if I had this. like. I would just be thinking 4th of July constantly. And this is a t-shirt. This is their pick. I'm trying to remember to say it. <laughs> Not just put it on the screen. Um, 26, 28. The fit on this is pretty big. Um, it's a nice t-shirt. It was really soft. And I liked the mesh at the top. Y'all know I like the sheer. Um, for me, this is really long. I probably wouldn't wear it. Or I would like cut it off to a crop top. <laughs> Um, but that's just me. I don't love super long shirts anymore. Um, so here is another Lane Bryant, actually. Same size, 2628. And it says 3X on the tag, but it's a 2628, which is, for most people's um, sizing, a 4X. So it has this cute ruching on the side. And then the sleeves are kind of big and then banded tight to the arm. Um, but not like uncomfortably tight. Anyway, this is really bright. It was much brighter in person. Uh, the lighting is not doing it justice here. And I did like this, but maybe for fall and winter, it's a little bit much for summer here. That was their pick, by the way. I don't remember if I said that. So Ava and Viv, this is my pick. I grabbed this, I think. Um, I don't even remember now. So 4X and um, just the fit is terrible. But I often have this problem with Ava and Viv, so it's not too surprising. Um, too big in the bust, too small in the belly. <laughs> My sad face. Um, it's not a shocker that this happened, but it's cool to be able to try it on. Um, and I think um, this dress probably would have been like $30 at Target, so 16 is not bad. Um, but yeah, not, not gonna happen, not for me. <laughs> So here's a loft item, and this is their pick. They grabbed this. Um, it is a size 20X, but 20X, 26, but it says 3X. I really liked this. I like the detail around the neck and the arms. Um, and the front is like not stretchy, and then the back is stretchy. Um, it was very comfortable. I liked this a lot. I could see um, wearing this with my skirts, and yeah, I was very pleased. Big thumbs up here for sure. More Lane Bryant, this is a size 26. So this is their pick. Um, and when I saw this hanging, I was like, what? Look, this is me being pleasantly surprised. I was not like super into it when I saw it on the hanger, but then when I put it on, I really liked it. And the lighting is not great, but I hope you can see it's kind of um, white and a super pale blue stripe. And then it has a lot of details. It has this fringe on the bottom, it has long sleeves. Um, and then it has um, some more details on the bust and coming around that seam. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, this was actually a really interesting shirt and I um, liked it much more <laughs> than I thought I would. I have to admit, I was not, I'm trying to show you the stripes here. There you go, you can see that. Um, I did not think that I was going to like it, but I ended up actually liking it quite a bit. It was a surprise. 
Oh, more Lane Bryant. I didn't realize there was so much Lane Bryant. So this is like kind of a caftan vibe. Um, I was pretty into this actually. Um, it's an interesting cut on the sleeve. It was very breezy, very nice. Um, the material felt good on my skin. I don't know that this is really me, but I think it's definitely cool. I liked it a lot. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so I'm back at home. Here's the setting you're used to seeing me in. And I want to tell you how it went trying on all, all blah, 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 trying on all those clothes at Clothes Mentor today and um, show you what I got. You can't see it, it's right here. <laughs> um, okay, so number one, I really didn't know what to expect when I went there. Um, I didn't really check out their website. I kind of looked at their Instagram, but I just didn't really know a lot about it. Um, I did know that it was kind of somewhere along the lines of a Buffalo exchange, but not so maybe like juniors trending or like cool kids, you know what I mean? Um, and so I wanted to tell you <laughs> my experience with places like Buffalo Exchange. And I'll speak specifically about Buffalo Exchange because that's where I had this experience, but there's a bunch of places like this now. At the time of the story that I'm about to tell you, that was like really one of the only ones. Um, so when I was in college, this is probably about 2001 or 2002, I went to a Buffalo Exchange with my Buffalo Exchange with um, some of my friends who also wanted to sell some of their clothes. Um, and they took their stuff there. The people looked through it. It was very much like we're cooler than you, like the employees. Um, it didn't feel super welcoming. And when it was my turn, they let me dump my stuff out and they looked at it and they looked at the sizes and they were like, oh, we're not going to take any of this before they really looked through it at all. And I was like, oh, well, why not? And they said, well, we don't take these sizes. And at that time, I was smaller than I am now. So I probably had um, size 14, 16, size 18, 20, um, maybe some 22s, but probably like just a few of those. So not even like, not that this is like a good justification, but not even like the larger plus sizes. We're talking the smaller end <laughs> of plus and they just straight up wouldn't take it. And they were really rude to me about it. Um, and it's one thing if your store has a policy that you don't take those sizes, um, you can say that to me in a kind way. Um, but the way that they did it was very judgmental, like really rude and not nice at all. And then years later, I talked to somebody who used to work at a Buffalo Exchange and they said that they were encouraged to be kind of like too cool or like kind of snotty about clothes um, because it was like part of the company culture. And that was interesting. I don't know if that's all Buffalo Exchange locations or if it was just that one store in that one neighborhood or what, but it gave me a really bad taste in my mouth about those kinds of stores. And so I never tried to sell my clothes to them again. Um, and so today going to Clothes Mentor is like, well, let's see how it's gonna be. Because um, as some of you know, I do sell, um, I shop a lot <laughs> and I'm also always trying to keep my closet purged and my closet is small. So I do sell a lot of clothes um, in really good shape. Sometimes I've never worn them or I've worn them once. Um, and so, but not everything sells online, so it would be great to have a local place to take my clothes and sell them. And so I was like, well, we'll see how this place is. And I went, and I have to tell you, um, it was great. I had such a good experience there. Everybody was super nice to me. There's actual plus size people working in the store. They have all the sizes, so it's not just for plus sizes. Um, but it seems, it really seems like the culture from Esther, who you saw earlier in the video, she's the owner of that store. Um, it really seems like she wants to make this a welcoming, inclusive place. And they, um, the employees were talking to me about wanting to, you know, get more plus sizes in and more sizes. And I was like, yeah, this is great. And even, um, even though most of the things that I tried on were three X, some of them were two X. I only tried on like one, two, three, maybe three or four items that were actually like 26, 28 or four X. Um, but they had a lot in 3X that fit larger. So I know that um, that's not always helpful for people that are larger. Like some of it didn't fit me. Um, and certainly someone who was larger than me wouldn't have been able to fit those. But um, they did have a lot of 3X, which was great. And I know that they want to get more. So, and I am thinking about taking my clothes there. <laughs> so maybe you could get some of my clothes. And those, uh, a lot of those sizes are 4X and some of them are even 5X. So, okay. I bet you're wondering what I bought. Well, Here's my bag. 
clothes mentor. Um, <laughs> I had selected some things and then I got to the register and there was more things. And um, Esther brought over some um, like big loose cardigan pieces, like kind of third pieces. And I was like, oh no, there's more. And then I saw earrings. <laughs> so I'm gonna start, I did get some earrings. I put them in this little separate bag. So the first pair I got are these really cute stars. You may know, I have a pair of earrings that have um, um, moons and stars, uh, and I wear them a lot. So I thought I would pick these up because they're silver, which I wear the most of, and they have stars. So it's another star earring option for me. So I feel really good about these. I think that I'm gonna wear them a lot. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And if I want, it will be really easy to add, like if I wanted to add like little beads on next to the stars, I could do that. Um, Cause I do a lot of, I make jewelry and I have a lot of beads and stuff. So um, sometimes when I get tired of earrings as they are, I like add on to them for fun. Okay, so I got these. And then <laughs> I got these really fun tassel earrings. So they're all in just shades of blue. And I think they're so cute. I'm very excited about them. Um, I don't love them with this dress, but I think they're really fun and I don't have anything like it. And I wear earrings the most of any accessories. And so as I'm trying to um, channel my inner Rebecca from the plus side of me, who always looks so put together, I'm trying to get new accessories. I'll have you know, today I used a different purse not just my same old purse, so that was good. Okay, so those are the earrings that I got. Now here are the tops that I got. The star tank top. I think this is really great. Um, I'm thinking of layering it under little spaghetti strap sundresses. Um, I can yoga in it, I can pajama in it. It's really soft. Um, it's new with tags and um, I don't know where it's from, but it, the MSRP on it is $58. I don't know this brand. I feel like maybe it's a department store brand. So anyway, um, I really, really, really like this tank top. And then I got, so this is like a stretch for me. I'm pushing myself a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to, oh, here we go. I bought a white shirt. <laughs> This is not, you know, a typical Laura Burns move, but I just loved the detail on the yoke, all this lace, and then the Swiss dot overlay. I just, I love it. I think it's really cute. It's really lightweight and good for summer, I think. Um, and I think it'll look really cute tucked into high-waisted skirts or just over some denim shorts. Ooh, with um, my, um, what brand is it? Mary Sky, maybe? That pink loose cardigan that I have with the flowers. Oh my gosh. That I got from a Dia box. <laughs> Very excited. Okay, so the next piece I'm pumped about when I saw it on the hanger. Oh, okay. I pulled this piece for myself. I forgot I was going to tell you. And I pulled this piece for myself. Now they, in their personal shopping, pulled this piece for me. And at first I saw it. Focus. There we go. Um, so this really beautiful kind of cobalt or royal blue tank. This is the one that's from Loft. Um, it's from their new plus line. This is a size 26. So at first I thought, oh, that's not gonna fit because the front of it is a um, non-stretch like kind of chiffon material. And then I turned it around and saw that the back is that knit, which I think I probably said to you in my voiceover. But, um, and then it fits so well. And I've been obsessed with this color. So I love all the little details on the neck and around the um, armholes. Anyway, I'm really excited. Also, this color is going to look great with um, that mod cloth skirt that I just got from Trunk Club a couple trunks ago or last trunk. I don't remember when it was. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this color lately. I love it so much. So this was a great find. And then so here, here is the item that when I got to the register, she came out with and was like, hey, look at all these um, third pieces. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, look at that one. So I'm gonna put this on for you. Um, it does not go with what I'm wearing at all, but I just want you to see, you know, the idea of it. <laughs> um, clearly I would not wear it with this. So it is this really cute 
piece. Look at the fringe. OMG. So it's really lightweight. It's like a super light chiffon. I love from the back. It's just so swingy. I like the line coming down here. It's just really cute. And I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I... Um, the colors of this, if this works for my wardrobe. I'm kind of thinking it might not, but I'm also thinking I might just buy a new trim to put over it and make it something that will go more easily with more stuff in my closet. But so here's this, it's really pretty, I just don't know. I have to see. I was thinking that if I got like some black trim or white trim or something and just sew it on over it, um, that might be cool. It goes up to here, so it doesn't even go around the neck. So this would be really easy. It's literally just a straight piece on each side. So I really like this. I really enjoy fringe <laughs> a lot. Okay. Oh my god, it looks terrible with this, but you know, I would not wear those two together. Okay, and then I have two more items. Now these two were in the front, so they um in the front section of the store they were having a sale where everything was two dollars <laughs> two dollars two dollars tell me if you get that reference okay so this is the ellen tracy size 2x ruffle shirt now you know it's a 2x which is not my size but i am getting this specifically to wear with my high-waisted skirt so I'm fine with having a shorter length here because it's gonna get tucked in anyway I love this top it's really cute the construction is good it's that material that doesn't show if you're sweating or not which is perfect <laughs> um, and then the second thing that was on sale is from Avenue I think yeah it was from Avenue and it's this polka dot top that can kind of go up or be completely off the shoulder um this was in a size 22 24 I just loved it the fit is really generous like this fits like a 26 28 without like becoming a you know much shorter crop top or whatever so um the 26 28 in this could have fit much larger but I just loved the little three-quarter sleeves and the detail of this little bow on the arm anyway two dollars that's so good and then because I spent over fifty dollars <laughs> um, I got a five dollar off thing to use the next time that I come do 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 it's valid until oh it's valid for like a year and a half Jeez. okay so I have a long time to use this so I got one two three four <laughs> five six tops two pairs of earrings for $62 so I think that is a great deal all of this stuff was like $10 or under um, or $2 for those other tops so this was a really great deal what a good experience at Close Mentor um, this is not sponsored FYI um, I just am really excited about having another option to shop um, for somebody my size locally for items that are not retail price, right? So it's really nice to be able to find affordable options. Um, places like Ross and TJ Maxx, even Nordstrom Rack, they don't have a lot of stuff in my size. And you dig through and you dig through and sometimes you find things. But overall, like, I just don't think about going there because it just gets really disappointing. Um, Nordstrom Rack, I have better look at and I do typically find some things there but even there <laughs> Nordstrom rack prices can be a bit much so I loved the pricing here it was really good really affordable um, and then if you like more luxury items um, they had and I showed in the walkthrough like fancy handbags that you can get I saw a Tory Burch Louis Vuitton I saw something with the Prada logo um, so yeah, people bring in their like high-end designer things. And I did want to mention that if you do like that kind of stuff, like if you want to get like a Louis Vuitton shoulder bag that they have layaway for those more expensive items. Um, and I saw in the back room where they store your items and that was really fun to see, like sneak peek <laughs> in the back. Anyway, so I think that is everything that I wanted to say about Clothes Mentor. I will tell you, I don't know where else they have locations. I know that there are a bunch of locations in Dallas 
some locations in San Antonio, but this one is the only one in Houston, and I don't know outside of Texas if there are any. Um, she didn't say, and I didn't look, <laughs> but um, I'm going to link the website down below and um, also their Instagram, and you can check it out. And if they don't have it in your area, then um, hopefully Closed Mentor will be expanding soon. Um, and what I would really love in the comments, I always like you guys to give us good information and share your resources. So in the comments, if you would write, if you have a store like this where you live that you really like to shop at that has a good selection of plus sizes, put it in the description or put it in a comment and say where you live and the name of the store because that information is gold and maybe somebody where you live doesn't know about that store and it could really open up a lot of options for them. So let's share our resources. <laughs> let's um, be in good community and help each other out. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really uh, entertaining or helpful or interesting. And I just want to give a big thanks to the folks down at Close Mentor, to Maggie, who made all of this happen. Hi. Um, to Chani, who I met, to the owner of the store, Esther. Um, everybody was so nice and like really just like let me come in there and have my camera and like do whatever I wanted. It was so cool and I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. And to everyone else, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content. If you've enjoyed my videos, learned anything, been inspired, or just want to keep seeing more content, please show me some love and consider supporting me on Patreon or coffee.com to make a one-time donation. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you, your presence, your engagement, and our community. All the links will be in the description box below.